Google just released its Android N beta for public consumption. Uh, this has been out in the wild for a little bit now, but Google says it's, it, it's safe to put it on your phone. So we put it on our phone and we're gonna check it out. So the biggest change is multitasking. So it's just like the old times. You can push that little square button and you get uh, a view of all your open apps. There's a new clear all button if you want to clear all. Apparently this was much requested. People applauded when Google announced the clear all button. But the most important part is multitasking. So if I'm in an app, like I'm in Chrome right now, if I hold down this button, I get to choose a second app to have side by side. And you see that little warning, the app may not work with split screen. I'm guessing a lot of apps will be tweaked and improved in the coming months before this is actually released so that they're not gonna warn you about that. Uh, but it works just fine even, even with that warning. You can resize this split here. Um, if you wanna get rid of an app, you just drag it away. And the other cool little tweak is, it's like Alt-Tab for Android. If you double tap this button, it's gonna switch between your most recently used app. So if you're bouncing back and forth between two apps, you're not in the split screens, you can just double tap, there you go. The other big tweak of Android N is notifications. Uh, they're full width now, and you can reply in line, which is kind of cool. That's a bummer. You can also press down on a message and change like what kind of notifications you get from that app uh, right from there. But I like, I like getting my Hangouts. The other thing that's different about the notification tray is that when you drag down, you get these options right here. You don't have to expand, which used to take two taps on Marshmallow to get at these quick like toggles for settings. Um, so now it's just really easy to turn on a flashlight. Also, this, this animation is totally superfluous, but it's really pretty. Look at that. It's just amazing. Speaking of settings, the actual settings menu has been changed a little bit. It now shows you kind of information about each one of these options. It, it's kind of like where it's at right now. The ringer volume is at 71%. I have 36 apps installed. So you don't have to dive into each of one of these to figure it out. It also recommends settings for you. You know, settings that you maybe, maybe haven't used recently and they're missing you. So this wants me to like add a fingerprint, set up email, which makes a lot of sense. You can also just collapse that if you know what you want. Another big change is you can now change your keyboard theme for the default Google keyboard. So you can pick a color like pink or red or blue. You can also pick a photo background. You can turn on and off the keyboarder. So let's check it out. Now we can type on Jake's face. Is that Jake? That's totally Jake. Google's also designed some new emojis for Android N. Basically kind of revamped a lot of them. Um, these blobs used to be kind of a bunch of different shapes and now they're just pretty uniform blobs, but still not circles, importantly. Google's also proposing um, some new professional women emojis which um, aren't in here yet, but um, I'm looking forward to see where, where's the cops. Here we go. So these are the, these are the current professionals and they used to be these like weird finger shapes. I think this is much more pleasing. That's about it. Android N is not a big change over Marshmallow. It's, um, it's supposed to be faster. Uh, it's got these little tweaks that are, are, are nice to have. Um, there is some stuff under the hood, uh, like there's this new JIT compiler, apps are supposed to launch faster and run faster. There's Vulkan graphics, which should make games run better and, and consume less battery. Um, there's also a bunch of VR stuff that's coming and, and that's gonna require new hardware and that's kind of a whole program and it doesn't so far have a lot to do with Android N. And there's also instant apps. You click a web link, you get an app. It's like pretty slick, apparently works pretty good, but it doesn't even require in. You can, uh, it, basically any phone with Play Store is gonna get this. And that's basically how Google works now. They can't 
cordon off all their best new features for something like Android N. There's just too few people who have phones that run the newest version of Android. So they just make it available to everybody and everybody gets to have fun with the new features and the few people get to have uh, improved notifications and multitasking. Could you text me? whatever hmm? yeah I love the verge <laughs> I love my boss and all my co-workers 